Murray renovates in retirement, Legends play in Cincy, and my picks for tonight's big matches north of the border, the break, it starts right now. What's up guys, Aaron Coscarelli here. You are watching The Break. Now it's only been a week or so since Sir Andy Murray stepped away from the sport, but the double Wimbledon champion isn't just sitting at home with his feet up with a cup of tea. Andy and his wife Kim have revealed plans to renovate and upgrade their luxury five-star hotel Cromlick's house, which is just outside Murray's hometown of Dunblane in Scotland. Now the Murrays bought the 15-room property for two and a half million bucks back in 2013, and since then it has become the venue for weddings in the area after Andy and Kim tied the knot on the estate. Now, Despite the price tag, rooms start at around 500 bucks a night, and Kim recently telling the BBC she and Andy want every single guest to relax during their stay. She said, quote, I want this to feel more like a home than a hotel. It's five star. We want it to be indulgent and aspirational and luxurious. That's really important, but it needs to be welcoming and inviting and accessible. Well, the Cromlicks was named Scotland's Hotel of the Year in 2023, and we here at The Break are always available for an indulgent vacay. Andy and Kim, if you're watching, just give us a buzz, okay? Uh, so the Cincinnati Open, it continues the American hard court swing next week, but before the real action gets underway, some serious tennis legends will be in the Queen City. Andre Agassi and John Isner will pair up for an XO against our own Andy Roddick and Marty Fish on the inaugural Community Day in Cincy, with Steffi Graf and TC's Lindsay Davenport also making special appearances. Fans will also be able to hit on all the practice courts in Mason, and there'll be some live music, autograph sessions, and of course, you can catch the draw live. Now, before all of that, the National Bank Open is down to the last 16. Here are my picks for tonight's big matchups. This time last year, Coco Golf was almost unbeatable on her way to her first major title in New York. After a disappointing end to her Olympic dream, Coco goes up against the very talented Diana Schneider in their first tour meeting with the American looking to reach the quarters for the third straight year. Meanwhile, in Toronto, second seed Alexander Vera looking for his second tour title of the year as he faces off against Olga Runa in the popcorn match of the day. Vera won their last meeting at Roland Garros earlier this year, but Runa has the game for a potential upset. All right, well, that's just about it from us. Don't forget, you can watch all the action from Canada Live on Tennis Channel. Our daily coverage starts 11 a.m. Eastern. We'll see you tomorrow.